Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I've got three really quick and easy DIYs that I wanted to put together here. Figured I'd put them all in one video. Um, first, I want to do something with these dragonflies that I got at Dollar Tree. These are just these little wooden um, hanging dragonflies. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say too much on here like usual, but um, I'm going to put two of these together because they're kind of you know, they're, they're a little bit flimsy, and if you want to do something with them, you kind of need to. I mean, if you're going to put them outside, that's what I kind of want to put some of these, like, on my, I have a covered porch. So I want to put them out there when I get them done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these hangers off, because I don't want them hanging this way. I kind of want them to hang this way. So that's what we're going to do with these, because it looks kind of silly just hanging straight up and down. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this wood glue, the super glue wood glue. You can find this in the um, hardware department at Dollar Tree, and I love this stuff. It works great. And then you're going to match these up because they do kind of fit together a certain way perfectly. There we go. So I think, nope, that might not be it. Let's see. There we go. That's the way they go. So this has got to go right on top here. So I am just going to take some of this wood glue here. Once I get it coming out, there we go. And I'm just going to line this with a little bit of this wood glue. You don't need too much. I'm going to go around all the different edges here and whatnot and just get a little bit of this glue on here. here and that's pretty much all you need on there this stuff holds like crazy I love this stuff so this is the way it said it fit on here perfectly so that's how we're gonna glue this little guy together Got a little bit oozing out there all right so I also want to cover up this hole that the string was in because we're not going to be using that hole to hang this back up so I'm going to take some of this lightweight spackle that you can get in the hardware department at Dollar Tree too, and we're just going to fill that hole in with some of this, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we're going to, you kind of want to overfill them too because sometimes it'll sink in a little bit, and then after that dries all you have to do is just take a little piece of sandpaper and sand that right off of there and then your hole is gone it's nice and filled in so I'm gonna put this one aside I already have one that I painted up but that is how I glued it together and got rid of that hole on the top um, this stuff is great I use this stuff a lot in my DIYs all right so let's put that aside so after you sand it then you just need to pick out colors I have all these colors here and, and this is what I did with this guy. You can paint it any way you want to, um, any colors you want to, and, and they're just pretty. This side's not finished, um, but I did put little eyes on here because you can see we have no more hole in this center. And then after it paints up nice, and then I have some of these little gem stickers that I got in the Crafter Square section. And I just popped off two of the black ones and gave them some little eyes. Now on the other side, I decided why not Take some of these gem stickers. They have all these different pretty colored gem stickers at Dollar Tree. And I don't know if I used all of these colors, but um, I just lined this guy with these gems. And then that, and I hung it with this little piece of, um, this just fishing line. I've had this forever. This will last me the rest of my life too, because it's like 700 yards <laughs> of fishing line. But it really doesn't matter which kind you get, because these are very light. And I just put it through this hole right here on its wing, so then when it hangs, it's going to hang more this way like he's flying away. But I did, on this side, take the gem stickers and just line this. So if it catches the sun, that'll look really pretty, I thought. I mean, you don't have to put gem stickers all over yours if you don't want to. You can just paint them up pretty. Any colors, I just wanted it to look real festive and springy colors. So... And these stickers are so easy to work with. I'm not going to do this whole slide. I'm just going to show you how simple this is to do. Um, I just, they come off in a nice long row. 
which is great. So you have this whole row of stuff and they bend and turn real nice when you're sticking them on. So that's it. Just tuck them down there and off you go. And that's just how easy it is to line this whole thing with your gem stickers. And then I just put a few of the clear ones across the bottom here. You know, like the dragonfly has those little separations in his tail and stuff. And I put some across up in here. This one I did pink. This one I did with the yellow. And then I did the clear. I did not use the green. Um, and then I just used the black for the eyes. But that's it. That's what I'm going to do with these. I will finish the rest of this guy up later. But I just wanted to show you how simple it is to make these really pretty. So if you want them just painted and... Don't look at that. No gem stickers on there. You can just paint them up and just maybe add some lines in there with a little bit of brown paint or something um, to snazz them up a little bit. But I'm loving this sparkly stuff. I don't think this would hold up really good like in direct sunlight. If you're going to put these on and you want them outside, um, I would definitely first spray this. Give it a clear coat of spray paint. To seal it really good. <clears throat> this one's not going to be in the weather because like I said it's under a covered porch and it's not going to get any direct sun. Um, but I would definitely spray paint it um, with a clear coat of some sort and then if you want these out more in the sun I would put a line of like maybe E6000 underneath your gem stickers to make sure they're not going to fall off on you when it gets warm out because you know hot glue and this glue on these stickers are probably going to loosen up if they get in the sun. But anyway that was my idea for this little guy. I promised you guys I would show you when I got him done. So that is that little guy. Now I need to plug my hot glue gun in because I am not ready here. All right, that's plugged in. There we go. So next, I think I'm going to do this little bowl thing here that I wanted to do. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Just shove it all over here for now. There we go. So I wanted to do a little arrangement in this little glass bowl that I picked up last week at Dollar Tree. I love these. They have these almost all the time at Dollar Tree. Different sizes. This one is the 4.9 inch by 3.9 inch bowl. Um, you can use whatever size you want. It really doesn't matter. And then I took some of these little Easter eggs. I don't know if you guys have seen these little wooden Easter eggs they have. Supposedly they have them in a couple different sizes. This is the only pack I found. So I just took these little wooden eggs. They come 10 in a pack in the crowd, in the Easter section. It's got the Easter label on it there with the little bunny. Um, and I just painted them all different colors with those same crazy colors. You can use acrylic. You can use chalk paint. Whatever you have, it really doesn't make any difference. And I just painted them up and then I put little polka dots on them. So I did some in yellow. I made some little blue eggs and some little green eggs and some little white eggs. The white eggs I put little pink dots on. I'll just show you real quick how I put the dots on there. It's really simple um, in case you are wondering. Let me grab me a little paint thing here and a little bit of this pink paint. Or maybe I'll do a, uh, maybe I'll put purple on this one. You just need a little bit of paint in a little, you know, plate or something like this. And then take one of these embossing tools. They have these at Dollar Tree too. They have two different sizes, two different ends with the little balls on them. And use the bigger size here. And then I just dip it in the paint and just dot them on here and make your little polka dots. And that's it. It's just that simple. And then I usually just do this one half and then I'll set this down carefully and let this guy dry. And then I'll put him over there to dry. And yeah, and then that's just how easy it is. It's just paint them whatever colors and put some cute little polka dots. Or you can put stripes, whatever you want on them. It doesn't have to be polka dots. i got to get another roll of paper towels. I am like almost out of paper towels in my craft room here. There we go. I just want to wipe this thing off. And that's all you got to do for that. It's just kind of give that a couple little twirls and there you go. But I thought that was cute. And then I have some... Um, I'm going to, nope, this is the wrong thing. No, I am going to use some of this in here, too. Some of the reindeer moss. I'm going to use this on my next project, too. So we're going to use some of that in there. One of the towering, or what are they calling these? Tumbling tower blocks. Um, these are always great to have for all different things. I'm going to use one of these in the bottom here. And I, it's actually going to uh, serve as a base for this little bunny that's going to go in our little glass jar. And then we are going to, where did my thing go? 
Um, hmm. Oh, here it is. One of these candle holders. The Dollar Tree almost always has these in. Um, so I'm going to glue the, this onto here. I am just going to use hot glue because I will probably pop all this apart after Easter. And that's what I usually do because I make so much stuff I can't keep everything. So I'll probably just pop this apart after Easter and then reuse this for something else. Which is always great to do. Um, so what else are we going to put in here? Oh, I have some of these little eggs are going to go in here. We have, where are my little carrots? We have these really small carrots they had at Dollar Tree. I figure i put a couple of those in there. Some of this Easter grass. And not a lot more than that. I may add a couple of these little um, flowers. I don't know. I picked these up at Dollar Tree too. These little yellow and pink flowers. I'm not sure yet. And I might stick in a couple pieces um, of the boxwood. I love this stuff. This I get at um, Walmart. And I absolutely love adding this to different kinds of centerpieces. All right, so what we're going to do with this little bunny. These usually come in a pack, you know, different colors. And it has this little pick on the end or stick on the end. We're just going to take that out and then we're going to glue that to this block only because I want this to raise up a little bit so I can fill in some of the um, reindeer moss in here. So is my hot glue gun? Yes, ready. All right, so we're just going to put some hot glue on this block here and we're going to set our little bunny on there like so just so he can raise up a little bit over the Moss. You don't want anything too big because then his ears are going to stick out of the bowl here. So that's why I figured I would just use this on him here. And then I want to glue this on here. Now if you want to keep this like forever and ever as one piece, I would use E6000 on here. But like I said, I'm going to take mine probably back apart, which it's pretty easy to pop apart with the hot glue. So after Easter, I will probably use this maybe for something else. I don't know yet. But there we go. We're just going to glue that right on there. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to take this little bunny and I'm going to glue this down in the center. There we go. You guys, you guys can see. And then that's just popped up just enough that I can fill just in around there a little bit with some of the reindeer moss. Now if you wanted to, you could paint this base white with some white chalk paint or something. Um, I'm not going to do that for this one. I think it looks really pretty just as clear glass. All right, so let me grab some of this reindeer moss out of here. I know this stuff makes so much noise. Everybody's always yelling at me for my crinkles. Let me pull it out of the bag. There we go. All right, pull this stuff all apart and put it in this little bin here. It makes it a little easier to work with. You're not chasing it all over the table. All right, I just want to break some of this up. And I like this stuff because it's a nice bright green. It's not like, you know, that dried out moss, you know, the brown stuff and whatever. And this just looks a little bit more springy. So we're going to get that down in there. See, that's why I wanted to put that there, just to raise the little bunny up. And this stuff isn't really dusty either. Um, you can use this little piece you took off the bunny to poke this stuff down there. more in here there we go this is just such an easy little thing to make if you want something just cute for Easter or depending on what you put in here you could you know make it for all spring it doesn't have to be just Easter but there you go and you could set this on the center of a table it'll look cute no matter which way you're gonna look at this little guy here I think I need a little bit more over here. And that is that for this part. I'm going to save that reindeer moss for our next project. And now these little eggs and things, I'm just going to set these down in here. Um, these are so pretty. I'm just going to put them all the way around here. And you can move them around however you want. Oh, I did forgot to put a blue one over here. That's okay. A yellow one. Oh, that worked out good. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough to go all the way around with these, but that is just perfect. Now, this actually, I think I want to move that one over a little bit more. 
um, because I want to get one of these little carrots in here. I don't know. I may trim these carrots down. These are the mini carrots. You get 18 in here in a pack. And I'm thinking I can probably just cut these off and maybe have these just sticking up out of the thing. Otherwise, they're just going to be a little bit too big, I think. Oh, that looks cute, just sticking up there like that. All right, let's get another one here. Maybe I'll leave this one whole. Oh, this one's missing a top. Maybe we'll leave this hole in here. I'll turn that around. Um, in front of the bunny. And really, you don't have to glue any of this down. It's just going to be sitting as a nice decoration. Unless you want to, you can absolutely glue things down. I think I want another pretty little carrot back here. Whoops, that's the one without a top. Alright, let's put one back here. Just sticking out of the moss a little bit. Oh, that looks cute back there too, like that. And then like I said, you could take a few of these little flowers. I would just pop these off of here. Maybe just cut off with the little leaf. Maybe have a couple of these little flowers in here with the um, eggs. There we go. Put that one there. Maybe you can just cut these right off with scissors. Um, let's see. I need my little tweezer guys. I don't know what I did with them. Of course they're not here where I need them. Um, it'd be much easier if I had my tweezers. Yes, it would. <laughs> Alright, we'll put that little yellow one right there. Move my carrot a little bit. Hang on guys, I know my hands are all in the way here. But, there. You can see it a little bit better. How cute is that? Maybe we'll put this flower back here behind the bunny. Sticking out. There we go. And there you go. Um, just as little or as much as you want in here. You could add more carrots. You could add more um, flowers, eggs, whatever you want. I knew where they were. Unbelievable. I always think I have something like right here that I can just reach it and grab it, but apparently I've used it for something else. All right. Where did my little stick go? We'll do it with the little stick. Get in there. There we go. And that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do to this little guy. And I think that will be just adorable on an end table. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I may put it on the shelf by my TV. That may be where this little darling's going because she's so cute. But that's it. It's that simple. Nothing to it. I love easy peasy. We all love easy peasy DIYs. All right, so that's number two. Our last one here I want to do with this little bucket that I got at Dollar Tree. I love these. I love doing these every year. Um, I make some sort of an arrangement. I want this to stay up, so I'm going to stick a little bit of hot glue down in here while I'm working on this. Make sure I have this where I want it. All right, stay there now. All right, did I get enough in there? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. So I took one of the big squares, you know, they, they always have these in the floral department, and I just cut this down with my handy-dandy broken steak knife. Um, <laughs> So it would fit down here in the bottom, and then they always have these two, these round, they come in a two-pack. You get two of these for $1.25. So I took one of those and just trimmed it with my knife until it would fit in here good. So actually, I wanted to put a little hot glue on this guy here, too. Uh, sorry, I need another glue stick. There we go. So I'm just going to put some glue down on the bottom of this just to hold it in place for me a little bit better. And then we're just going to stick that right down here on the bottom. And then we're going to take this one here and stick it right on top of this. So you don't have, you could fill it with something else if you wanted to, if you don't have a bunch of foam. But I figured that would be just the easiest 
way to do it. And then I wanted it to set down in probably about a half an inch so it wasn't sticking up over the top. And then we are going to layer that with some of this uh, reindeer moss, which is great. Love it. It's just perfect for these spring DIYs. It should be called spring moss, not reindeers. <laughs> it just, I don't know, it just seems more springy. That's all I'm saying. All right. So there we have that. And let's see. I have some of these bigger carrots I think I want to put down in here, but I think I'm going to cut these too. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, my throat gets so dry with the heat on. I am going to use some of this boxwood in here. I'm going to add maybe some flowers. I'm not sure yet, but my main thing that I want to add is one of these little bunny butts. Now you get six of these for $1.25 at Dollar Tree in the um, Easter section. All right, so I'm going to cut off a bunch of these uh, pieces of this boxwood, and I like these to be my background for these kind of things because it's a little bit taller and it's a great filler for any time of the year, which is wonderful. Um, so we're just going to fill this back piece in with some of this. There we go. Here's a nice big one. Put that one right in the center there. So that makes a great little backdrop for this. Now this one's going to be on a shelf. It's not going to be pretty from all the way around, but you could if you wanted to, you know, decorate it all the way around if you wanted to. Now I gotta see how easy. I haven't tried this yet, so we're gonna try it together. How easy it will be to cut these because these are wrapped with stuff and the carrot might well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Not too bad. You're just gonna have to glue down your um, jute string here that's going to come loose on you. Let me find a finger protector. There we go. And I thought these would look cute like they're just starting to come out of the ground. So I thought that would be cute. So I'm going to put one over here. I need to get it through the moss here now since I decided to cut them. <laughs> All right. But I mean if you want to do it this way you could absolutely do that before you put the moss in here it would make your life so much easier but you know I just had the bright idea after I put the moss in so let's see it my little bunny I want his little butt to be right here just kinda I hope I left enough room there we go just kinda going in this way that's so I just want the carrots just to stick out a little bit so let's cut this one up too and now we're just gonna Glue that down. Add a little hot glue to the bottom. And I gotta move my stuff. There we go. Let's stick my moss back in there now. There we go. So we'll have our little carrots stick in there. And then when we're done, our little bunny is going to go on the front. But I also want some pretty little flowers in the background. So let's see, which ones do we want to use here? Um, I have so many. I love the lilacs. They are just so pretty. Maybe we'll take a couple pieces of the lilacs to stick in with the um, boxwood back there. Just because just because. You could put some in the back here, too, to fill that empty space in back here. I don't want any of the leaves of them, though. I'm going to stick one in here in the center. And let's see. Put another one in the back. But just play around with it, whatever, you know, you want to do. But a little splash of pink there. Um, let's see, maybe we'll take some of this darker pink. These are so pretty. All right, let's take a couple darker pinks. And I have white somewhere here. I 
So maybe we could put these in front of the basket holder the handle. There we go. I really, really want the white ones in there. Hope I got room. Because these kind of just make it pop. Now, oh, let's see. I don't think I want them in the front. Well, I'm going to put it in this way because it's just easier, and then I'm going to pop it under the handle. There we go. That worked out much better. There, now it looks nice and full with the little flowers and our little boxwoods. I may put a little more boxwood in the front here. Um, let's see, do I have a little piece? Yes, I do. There we go. There we go, and then our little bunny is just going to go right in the front there. Where'd you go, little bunny? Here you are. Alright, so let's see how you're going to sit on here. I could actually glue you to this. This little stick that we took off of our other little bunny is what I'm going to do. And I think I'm just going to glue that right in the back here. That way I can stick him right down in the foam. So we're just going to add a little hot glue there. Let that cool a second. Let me get my finger protector. There we go. Oh, that'll work good. See, that's why I never throw anything away. That's why I have so much stuff. <laughs> it's like, no, don't throw that away. It'll come in handy. All right, so... I think that's stuck good enough and then we can put that right into the foam and that will stick like our little bunnies having a snack with the carrots I need that to stick out more there we go he found some carrots in among the pretty flowers but yeah that was my idea for this little bucket and that is my three quick and easy DIYs here. There's really, really nothing to these. You can use whatever flowers, whatever decorations you want to use. I see hot glue on here. I only used one little dab of hot glue on this whole project. And I got it all stuck to the glass. But anyway, we have this. And then for our little spring, and actually these are great for spring and summer, is the little dragonfly. So I'll take a nice picture of these here at the end after I clean up all this stuff and uh, put it at the end of this video. But thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed these little projects and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day everyone.